hello all today we are going to see how we can transfer the files from uh, one windows server to another windows server or one windows machine to another windows machine using ftp commands so basically we are going to see uh, FT, ftp commands like these so normal ftp commands ftp with minus n minus i option and after that the put and get commands so uh, let's start with uh, trans transferring the files first uh, let's say uh, I want to transfer files from uh, d colon infra work so I have three files here uh, content is same basically only the extension is different one is CSV XLS and XLS SX so I will transfer all these three files from this machine to another uh, my virtual machine over here uh, C colon new folder so let's find out the uh, IP address of this machine first command prompt IP config Okay, so we will copy the IP address of this machine. We'll go to our main machine. FTP and the IP address. So when you give normal FTP and IP address, uh, command prompt will always ask you for the username first and after that the password. So I will give username, administrator is my username and password. So I am logged in over here, we will just do DIR. So it is displaying me all these files, uh, all these folders inside the C directory of another machine that is this machine so we'll just uh, verify the folders again windows teradata program files office 2007 so here the folders are same windows new folder teradata office 2007 so basically we need to transfer the files to new folder so what we'll do is we'll cd new folder so now inside new folder there is not a single file so we'll use the put command to transfer files from or file from this location the current machine to the virtual machine so put product prod cost dot csv okay so in command prompt we are basically inside the, the C folder so if I will do by so I am currently inside the C users mandar folder and our files are inside D colon infra work so I will do the FTP again CD folder now uh, in command prompt uh, I am logged in currently inside C users mandar folder so to change the directory of my local machine so I will use the command look LCD local current directory I will change that to D colon infra work now I will again try to put that file put prod cost dot csv file got transferred it's showing we will verify whether file really got transferred at other machine yes now if you see product cost dot csv got transferred from my local machine to my virtual machine we will transfer all the three files one by one put prod cost dot xls put prod cost dot excel excel sx so all the three files got transferred what we'll do is we'll 
delete these files from local machine and we'll get oh sorry I have deleted the files from virtual machine itself okay now we'll delete these three files from local machine and to get the files from virtual machine to local machine we use get command so get prod cost dot xls get prod cost dot csv and the last file is xls uh, get prod cost dot what was the extension xlsx okay so uh, to put anything to another server we use put command to get anything from another server to the local machine we use get command now the disadvantage in put and get command is we need to give file one file at one go means we cannot transfer all the th three files at single uh, single go using the put or get command so to do that what we'll do is uh, let's delete the files from virtual machine so to transfer files from f files all the files from files from uh, local machine to virtual machine or from virtual machine to local machine we use mget or mput command so in this case we will be transferring the files from our local machine to the virtual machine so we will use mput command mput prod cost star so extension is only the difference so file uh, name of the file is same so we will use prod cost dot star so it will always ask you whether you really want to transfer the file or not so just give yes 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 we'll verify whether files got transferred or not yes files too got transferred we'll again delete these files so if you see using the mget or input command you can transfer all the files at single go you do, do not have to specify each file name uh, uh, at a time or each file will file name always so uh, again the disadvantage over here is uh, at mget or mboot command is it will always prompt you whether you really want to transfer the file or not so uh, to avoid this thing we'll again uh, uh, we'll just we'll just terminate the session we'll again log in to the same server ftp and uh, we'll avoid this interactive mode so to do that you have to use the command ftp minus i and the server name so our server name is so it will be administrator and cd cd we'll just verify whether there is any file inside new folder there is no file inside new folder we'll change the local directory to g infra work lcd and now we'll do mput prod star so in the, uh, now as we have logged in using uh, minus i that is without interactive mode so we disabled the interactive mode uh, that's the reason uh, mput command didn't ask us the or didn't prompt us whether we really want to transfer this file or not by default it considered that we have to transfer the file and it uh, does it automatically so we'll just verify yes the files do got transferred from local machine to virtual machine uh, the last command 
so we have covered minus n minus i option put get and put m get lcd and uh, sometimes what happens is uh, by default ftp command will transfer the file using ascii mode so uh, using ascii mode uh, sometimes what happens like uh, while transferring the files if you open the file at uh, other location that is target location the content uh, content won't get displayed correctly so so to that that uh, always because of the binary transfer mode in this case the contents are clear but sometimes it happens like uh, contents uh, gets changed or uh, gets means some extra characters gets added so what you have to do is you have to change the or while transferring the file you have to make sure that you are transferring the files using binary mode so to change the mode you just have to transfer the command like binary so now uh, what are the files which we transfer after this will get transferred using the binary mode so if, so all these files got transferred using the binary mode earlier it was it got transferred using the ascii mode and the last command is okay we'll do the uh, batch file of it okay what we're going to do is we'll, so uh, we have seen minus i option now we will verify the minus n option of ftp command so minus n option is basically for anonymous login so it won't prompt you to give user your username or password it directly gets into the ftp command so now over here you need to give user as administrator password as ma gupte so if you see you got logged in over here so using minus n uh, n option basically you are uh, getting logged in into ftp as an anonymously and after that once you uh, get into the ftp you need to give uh, your username and the password this will help us actually to uh, automate the script or we'll we'll see it, see that so we are basically logged in into the uh, uh, virtual machine using the ftp now uh, what we'll do is we'll create one user administrator password is man hame gupte uh lcd dr lcd cd new folder and we'll put the files okay we'll get the files we'll save this file to c colon by ftp minus n and the virtual machine address and we'll give input as okay we have saved our file at c colon 
will give input as uh, my FTP dot txt. So if you see, uh, it failed at some uh, failed at file not found in our failed because okay we'll just uh, remove these things okay now it's if you see over here it's the command is asking us to uh, we have to really want to transfer the files or not that's because we haven't specified the minus i option so if you use minus i option the files will get transferred automatically now at c colon if you verify the files must have got transferred so if you see now at c colon the files got transferred similarly we'll change the local current directory to cd to infra work and we'll again run the command now we'll verify in the infra work folder whether files got transferred or not so if you see files got transferred at infra work folder so all these things we can add it into one bat file create a batch file of it a batch file of it so my ftp dot bat we have created that in c so over here uh, we'll delete the files from infra work folder first and we'll execute the batch file which is there in the sql now we will verify in the infra work folder again yes the files do got transferred now what we can do is uh, the sa same batch file or same commands at uh, batch file we can add that into informatica level and that's the way we can transfer file or we can get the files from one uh, inform one server to another server thanks for watching this video